it is extremely difficult to get a group of individuals who have their own sense of threat and protections and fears and then bring them into a group where all of that is accentuated mm. because we all fear, most of us fear looking bad in front of others. Right. So the group dynamic can really accentuate the threat dynamic. And so you, if, if you're owning the goal of bringing the group into clarity, you've just set a really high bar for yourself. So what I would say is don't try to get the group into clarity. Try to work with the individuals to get them to clarity. Remember, clarity is not certainty. It is not like this closed-minded conviction that I've nailed it and have it right. Clarity is a sense of being able to move forward and be productive despite your doubts. Mm. Clarity is a sense that I can keep moving forward and doing the things I need to do to either achieve the goal or learn how to achieve the goal better next time. Even though I'm wondering with all sorts of doubts about whether I can do that well or not. And so you want everybody to show up to the group with that sense, with that sense of commitment to trying to discover what is true about themselves in the midst of this group. Now, how to do that when you lack all believability with the group? So there's the, the believability could be interpreted in two ways. First of all, believability is like um, you have a track record of success doing this thing and you can talk well about the logic of how you ach achieve that track record of success. So it's those two elements. Um, so what I would say is if you lack believability against that standard, then find somebody who is believable uh, I think what Ray would say, not to quote him in any way, shape, or form, is like, look, if you're not the best person for the job, find the best person for the job and be humble in the face of like, I'm not the best person for the job. But I think there's a second notion of believability here, which is, does the group trust you and find mm -hmm. you credible? Right. Which is a different sort of question, right? So how do I establish trust with a group such that that group, even if I am believable, even if I have a track record of success and I can tell you how I've achieved that track record, that doesn't mean the group's going to trust you. That doesn't mean the group is going to accept you. So how do you accomplish that? Um, yeah, I, I think it's just basic human being things of if you start to, to quote Gandhi, be the change, uh, you know, be the change in the world that you want to see. Uh, and I'm sure I just screwed that quote up. But the concept is start with you. So if you want to be trusted, be trustworthy. Go into the group and be clear with them about what you're trying to achieve, why you're trying to achieve it, where you struggle, what you have doubts about. Ask for help. Enlist the group in the group effort as opposed to actually just like putting yourself at the top and telling them what to do. Do the things that human beings have done since time immemorial for millions of years to form membership and affiliation with other people. And that has to do a lot with being vulnerable, with being present, with listening, having high degrees of empathy and compassion, being clear on what you're trying to achieve, don't have a hidden agenda, and communicating clearly and openly as you're going through things about where you think, think things are and what you think is happening. Um, so I think that's how you build trust with a group 